all this week in the podcast we are focusing on what I'm calling weirdo week encouraging you and empowering you and hopefully inspiring you to let your little weirdo out to play to let you inspire you to fly your freak flag a little more freely that sentence was really hard to say <laughs> now before we before we wrap things up tomorrow um, I just wanted to have one more episode where I really threw on top of the, you know, we spent Tuesday's episode reminding that you are brilliant. And that was just me saying it. But what in today's episode, I wanted to remind you that God thinks you're brilliant too. One of my very favorite verses in the Bible is Zephaniah 3.17. And in Zephaniah 3.17, we are told that God sings songs about us. I'm just trying to find it on my phone because my phone is currently pinging with text messages from my sister. It says, The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will, re but will rejoice over you with singing. How cool is that? Now, Zephaniah is right at the very end of the Old Testament. It's written you know, to the people of the children of Israel when they're like, not getting it right all the time. right? But even when they weren't getting it right all the time, God, in, the, in that same verse, we're reminded that God takes delight over you. When it says he will no longer rebuke you, so that means that at some point he was a bit cross with them. Um, now, don't get hung up on that because sometimes, I don't know about you, maybe it's just me, but sometimes when I read some of the stuff in the Old Testament where God gets a bit cross, it, it almost it very easily becomes possible to forget about the love piece. And what I'm reminded of, and I would remind you of, if, if that's something that you struggle with sometimes, because I have this image of, of good cop, bad cop. You know, we've got Jesus is the good cop, and then, and then God the Father, bad cop. When the reality is that we are told that Jesus is the exact representation of God's being. So every loving, kind, wonderful, amazing, um, glorious aspect that we attribute to, to Jesus we can and should and must also attribute to the same God who wrote these verses in the Old Testament, the ones that we struggle with. That's just a side point. Um, but it's worth mentioning because when it, you know, where I read a Bible verse where it talks about rebuking and, you know, that's quite an oldie word anyway, but you know, that reminder that Jesus is there alongside God rejoicing over you with singing. And so if ever you have a time where you're a bit like, oh, I don't know, you know, it's okay. It's all well and good. Elle saying, yeah, I'm, I'm great. It's all well and good. Elle reminding me of this, that, and the other, but really, yes, really <laughs> God delights over you with singing. Now, yes, he said it was written in the old Testament to the children of Israel, but everything in the Bible is for us too. And so we can take those promises in the same way that we read prom other promises in the Old Testament and we take them as ours, the same, we can take that same reminder that he is singing songs as ours as well. And so at the end of the day, the way I look at it, right, and this is especially for those days when you're struggling, right? If the God who spoke the stars into existence thinks you're so delightful he's singing songs about you, then who are we to go, ah, no, I'm not brilliant? Yeah? Because like God is God and all the, the bigness and vastness and amazingness that that encapsulates. And he, del he delights over you with singing. Just pause for a moment and actually ponder on that. God delights over you with singing. Now, I don't know what your singing voice is like. I like to think mine's reasonably okay, particularly when I'm belting out some queen tunes in the kitchen. God, can you, I can't even begin to fathom what God singing would sound like. I imagine it must be like the most beautiful sound in the world, magnified into infinity. Wow. And he is singing with delight over you. And so I want you to remember that the very next time you forget that you are brilliant. And the very next time the little gremlins in your head give you a hard time. And the next time the head junk comes to try and do battle with you. Because we're told in the Bible, there's more power in God's little finger than there is in all the evil forces combined. So there's definitely more power in God's little finger than there is in the head junk that you've got going on inside your head. Not just you, all of us. We've all got stuff that we do battle with, you know. Um, and so I want to, to just to remind you and take a whole episode to remind you because it's that important. God delights over you with singing. 
he is delighting over you with singing. Now, I can't, humanly speaking, as much as I love my children dearly, I don't think about them and ponder on them every moment of every day, like, because I humanly can't. My brain cannot do that. I have a human mind. And, you know, it works quite well most of the time, <laughs> but I can't possibly spend every single moment of every single day thinking about them. But God can. You know, we're told that we should, you know, I know I don't like the word should, but in this context it works. We're told that we, we recommend, it's recommended that we pray continuously. If every single person on this planet, whoever was and whoever will be, um, and whoever is right now, was to pray continuously and was praying continuously to a human person, that human person would lose it. But no, we are told to pray continuously to God and God I rab it on quite a lot. You may have noticed. Um, but as my dad reminded me one week in church, you know, I sometimes, sometimes I have people who love me, like my husband and one of my children in particular was, oh, can you just be quiet for a moment? And maybe that, if you're a bit of a chatterbox, maybe you've been told, oh, can you just be quiet just for a moment? God will never, ever say that to me. He will never say that to you. That's not to say that we shouldn't be still. You know, there, there is silence is golden and there are, I do. I actually am quiet sometimes. You know, when I'm out walking the dogs. I love to just, just to be. Um, so there is value in silence. I'm not saying there's not, but God will never get tired of hearing from you. He delights in you so much. He's singing songs about you, over you, to you. That's how amazing and brilliant and wonderful you are. And that's what I want you to remember. And that's what I want you to take from today's episode. I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.